Hi guys from Barbara and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting news, at least for me. It's the microphone, the first time I'm using it in my life and I hope you will hear me better. Thank you all for the suggestion about the improvement of my channel, but also the improvement of my recipe. I really appreciate all your comments. So let's go to talk about the recipe. Last week I prepared something with many egg yolks. So today I will show you what I did with the egg whites. Every time I think about egg whites, I also think about meringue. And I tried many different recipes with meringue uh, for keto diet and I was not happy. The normal white meringue are not as good as the real meringue. So today I will show you what I did. I did the chocolate ones. They are perfect, even better than the real chocolate meringue. So let's go to the kitchen together and let's prepare this yumminess. I will tell you many tips. Here you can see all the ingredients that we are going to use today. Six egg whites, two pieces of 90% dark chocolate from Lindet. If you use another brand, it's fine. You can use 20 grams if they have different square. Then two spoons of unsweetened cacao, a little vinegar. I know it sounds strange, but it will be amazing and 100 grams of powdered erythritol. For this recipe, it's very important that your sweetener is powdered. Start by whipping our six egg whites until they will look like snow. They must be very stiff, so I highly recommend you to use an electric mixer because it will be a big help. I made the video very fast, but you will need some time, so making it by hand, it will be very hard. Now I want to talk to you about our strange ingredient, the vinegar. I know it sounds really strange, but it's okay because it's a very important ingredient. It will make on the first day your meringue crunchy outside and soft inside, like a marshmallow, so they will be delicious. If you want them all crunchy, like true meringue, you can wait another day and on the following one you will have a complete crunchy one. They are both delicious and you can try to eat one on the first day and the second one on the second day, so you can compare and choose which is your favorite meringue. And after adding one spoon of vinegar, it's time to put also the sweetener, our 100 grams of powdered erythritol. First tip, be careful because it will fly all over. Second tip of the day, it's time for the unsweetened cacao and you should use a net to put your two spoons of cacao because it will break down the little balls that is inside the cacao, I don't know how to call it in English, and it will become more powdered, so it will be easier to mix it in an homogeneous way with the egg whites. Cacao can be a tricky ingredient on a ketogenic diet, so always read the label, it must be unsweetened, but also the carbs content. Mine has 8.8%. Always choose the brand lowest in carbs. And now the most important ingredient, the one that will make this meringue delicious and the reason why I cannot prepare good white meringue. It's the dark chocolate. This chocolate has a lot of flavor, but also has a lot of weight, so it will give body to our meringue. The white ones that I prepare are too light, it's like eating a cloud, you don't feel neither the flavor. 
and in this case the dark chocolate has a lot of weight and it compensates the light weight of the erythritol. It's not sugar, so there are some differences, but I promise you that this recipe is more than perfect. Now a tip that you probably already know, it's time to mix all together with the whipped egg whites, so we should do that by hand. You cannot use an electric mixer, because if you do so, they will unwhip. Mixing by hand will allow you also to smell this incredible chocolate flavor. It's really delicious and look how beautiful our mix already looks. It's now time to form our meringue. With this ingredient I made eight. And it's the perfect time to use a sac -a poche and not a normal spoon as I did. Sac -a poche is a tool that usually gives a perfect shape to the meringue, but I don't have it and I've never used it in my life. I have to admit that it scared me a lot because it looks like a high patisserie tool and I prepare very simple food, but if you have some suggestions on how to use the sac -a poche please write it down below and help me because the shape of my meringue will be awful. So don't follow my recipe for this part, make them more pretty than mine. And now into your preheated oven at 150 degrees Celsius that are 300 degrees Fahrenheit but when you put your meringue inside, you should lower the temperature at 100 degrees centigrade, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, for one hour and a half. When you finish the baking, leave the meringue inside with the door always closed for at least three hours. I left them overnight and that's very important. The following day, Four out of eight meringues disappear. It means that they are good, they are really delicious, better than they look. But please let me know if you made nicer meringue and send me the picture on my Instagram account. You can find me as Barbara Minati, but also as LCHF underscore Italian. I'm looking forward to receiving your beautiful meringues. I really hope you liked today's recipe and you will consider subscribing to my channel. So we will meet here with a ketogenic video in English every Monday at 2 o'clock Italian time, but also with the same video in Spanish on Wednesday and in Italian on Friday. See you soon! But don't miss today's walk because we are in an amazing and pink place. We are at the cherry blossom spot in Stockholm and many people are here, exactly like us, to take pictures and videos. So let's enjoy this beautiful place together. As I just wrote to you, this place is called Kunstre Garden. I wrote it to you because I hope you will be able to come here on this season. If you are in Stockholm, don't miss this place in this period. And if you are planning to come to visit this beautiful city, this is a perfect season and you will enjoy a place that you will never forget. I definitely promise you that because this pink square is unique. I come here every single year and I'm sure I did you last year video too with the cherry blossom and probably the year before too. But I cannot resist because it's such a beauty of nature. Also, a lot of kids from school, they come on a day trip to enjoy this pink show.